All right, so here is the dashboard we're gonna build. Let me just break it down for you. What we're looking at is pages on my website and then the percentage of people that scrolled 25, 50, 75, and 100% down the page. This is so much more useful than the reporting you get with the built-in scroll event in GA4. To build it, you'll first need to set up your scroll event uh, the way that I described in my previous video, which is linked to in the description. And that setup involved tracking 25, 50, 75, and 100% scrolls. And then we also created a custom dimension and a custom metric that allows us to bring it into Looker Studio and report on it like this. So let's get started. So the steps we're going to follow are we're going to create a new data source from GA4 data, but it's actually going to be an extract data data source. We're going to create a blend from that extract data data source. And the reason we need the blend is to be able to get the ratio of scroll events to page views. And that's going to tell us what percentage of people scrolled each 25, 50, 75, and 100% down the page. So we will also be creating that calculated metric. And then we're going to do a bit of fussing about with the presentation of the data to get it to look like this. So we have a blank dashboard here. And one thing that I didn't describe, and you're welcome to try this yourself, we're going to create this blend. But if we create the blend from GA4 data directly, we run into a problem with how we can use the view metric. And the, in, in, in our dashboard, if we look here in this view, notice how it's sorting by views here. Well, there's kind of a sneaky trick that I'm going to show you to get us that. And the only way we can get it to work, or the only way I could get it to work, is by using the extract data, data uh, uh, connector instead of connecting directly to GA4. So we're going to do that. I do, if you're like, mm, uh -huh, I don't really get that. Uh, I do encourage you to try doing it in, in GA4. Possibly there's a way to get it to work that, that I couldn't figure out. But in any case, so, so we're going to set up a extract data data connector. And what we're going to do, so that's down here. And what the extract data connector does is it actually stores data from the data source. So it's not connecting real time to GA4. And I have noticed that there's some dimension incompatibilities in GA4 that go away when you use extract data, but it actually introduces some new dimension incompatibilities. Um, that's sort of outside of what we're talking about now, but so, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up this extract data connector and we're going to add a couple of dimensions. Uh, oh, we need to select our data source, of course, first. So to what we've got to October's GA4 already connected. I'm going to pick that. I do not want event name. Uh, that's one of the dimensions I've had compatibility problems with. So make sure to delete that. So we're going to do page path and we're going to add percent scroll and for metrics we're going to add scrolls and views and i already have this data source uh, set up so i'm not i am going to well this is how it's set up i'm not going to save it um, you should just save and extract and then the other thing is setting up auto update um, and you can pick your start date and then you can actually say through yesterday um, for the date range for this connector. Um, so the that way every day it's going to refresh and get data through yesterday. And again what will happen is this will run once a day and store all the data you need to build this table. So, uh, sorry, you do the, the date range over here. So you can make a custom date range and you can, you can set this one to be just, let's say, uh, advanced. I don't want fixed. I want, uh, today to be minus zero, minus one day. What we want is minus one day. And then you can do a start date. You can do 
a, a variety of different things. Uh, so, all right. So I've, I've already created this extract data data connector. So I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to insert a table. We're going to switch to the extract data data connector and it's got that uh, data that I showed you set up. I'm going to pick page path as a dimension. Now we're going to add uh, views here and I'll go ahead and add percent scrolled as a dimension. So I can go up to resource and manage blends and I can create a blend from there, but I'll show you how I like to do it. So I've got two data sources here and a blend is taking um, two sets of data and combining them. Uh, so if you're not familiar with blends, I recommend doing a little look through Looker Studio help to understand blends a little bit better. Um, but that's what we're doing. So I'm going to pick these two this way. So, so if I pick these two tables and then blend data, now you're like, well, aren't you blending it to itself? I am. And I'll show you why in a second. And we're going to delete this. Okay. This doesn't look like what we want, but we're going to fix that. Okay, so now we're, we've got page path, percent scrolled. We got everything here. Um, now we're going to do a bit of cleanup. So we've got, so, so here's how the two data sets are joined. And, and we don't actually want them to be joined on percent scroll. And I'll explain why in a second. So I'm going to save that. And then on the right side of the join, I'm actually going to get rid of that percent scrolled. And I'm going to get rid of the uh, scroll metric. And on the left side, I'm going to get rid of the views metric. Okay, so now I have those. So I've got as dimensions page path and percent scroll. And then I've got scroll and views. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name my data source something um, that I'll remember later. So blend scroll percentages. So Let's have a look at, at what this blend is actually doing. Uh, and it, it has to do with how that join works, why I've set it up this way. So in a left outer join, we've got data on the left, data on the right, and we're going to join them together on page path. And because it's a left join, what it's going to do is each row on the left, it's going to match on that join dimension, which is page path. And it's going to add data from the right. So what will happen is each row, it's going to match blog to blog and blog to blog. So views is actually going to stay constant because the number of views per page is constant. So because we haven't included that percent scroll dimension in the right data. So essentially, it's sort of duplicating the rows on the right to create a joined data source where we have page path then percent scrolled scrolls and views in in this joined data source. Now we can come up with that percentage of scrolls divided by views, which is the percentage. So if you think of each time a page is viewed, if somebody scrolls 25%, well, what we want to count is the number of people who scrolled 25% divided by the total number of views. And that'll give us the percentage of scrolls down to 25% and 50%, 75, 100. So um, joins are can be a little confusing and weird. Uh, this is, I think this is a weird use of a join. What we're really doing is doing the joins so we can get that views as a denominator for that calculation. So we've done that and we're gonna, we're gonna save our blend, close that. All right, so now we've configured our blend the way that we want. Uh, we actually want this to be a, um, a pivot table. I'm going to add a heat map later on, but for now, just to make it a little, I don't know, just fewer things to look at. We're going to leave it that way. Our row dimensions that we want are, we'll start just with page path. Let's start there. And then for our column dimension, we want percent scroll. Okay. Now it's doing something curious here is it's just counting percent scrolled as our metric. Now we could add, um, the uh, scroll metric, 
um, and then a sum. And this looks a lot like the exploration uh, that we set up in the last video in GA4. But what we really want here is we're going to take this and we're going to create a field to calculate that ratio. So uh, we'll call this scroll percentages. And what we're going to do is sum of, and you see this, this uh, metric is called scroll. I changed it to scrolls later, but it still shows up as scroll in the extract data connector. I'm going to do sum of views and I'm going to change the type of this, this value percent and apply that. Now you're like, oh, that doesn't look great. Well, the, the reason for this is, is that we, the sort order is pretty weird. So what we're seeing here is it's default sorting to um, values where the, the number of people who's called 25, 50, 75, 100 is 100 percent in all cases. That's not super useful to us. So and here's where I'm going to show you something tricky. And this is what you couldn't have done if you connect directly to GA4. At least I couldn't get it to work. We're going to add views as a row dimension. Now, a little bit of a problem in, in a pivot table. We can't say to sort by the second row value. So it's always going to sort by the first row value. So here's where I'm going to do a little bit more trickiness. All right, we're going to switch views to here. So now this is getting closer to what we want, right? OK, so now we've got our most popular page comes first. I'll make this a little bigger. And then the next thing that we're going to do, this is another weird trick. Um, maybe Maybe first I'm just going to switch over to a heat map so you start getting excited. OK, so now we're seeing these heat map values. Uh, we might as well switch those. I, I don't know. I like green. Green's good. Um, OK, so now the higher the scroll percentage of the darker green it is. So you can already start seeing how valuable this is. is we can see like this post. Uh, a lot of people are, are scrolling pretty far down. It's a monster of a post, I can tell you. So that's pretty cool. Um, we see the number of views. So the last sneaky trick I'm going to show you here, we're going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to do something definitely sneaky and weird, which is I'm going to switch back to setup and I'm going to add views again. <laughs> And the reason I'm going to do that is I don't really like views over here on the left to the left of page path. So I'm going to, going to go here uh, and go like this. Then the way we could get rid of this not set column by using a filter and just filtering for percent scrolled equals not excluding percent scrolled equals not set. But we don't actually need to do that. I'll show you a fun little thing here. So number of columns, if we change the number of columns to four, it gets rid of that. Then the other thing is right now it's sorting by this percent scroll dimension and we don't actually want that. What we want is uh, scroll percentages. So now the order is the way we want it. 25, 50, 75, 100. Two sm other small things we're going to do before we finish up. We want to show grand total in the bottom. So now we can see overall how people are scrolling through, which I think is useful for being able to compare. We're going to, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And then the last sneaky thing, what we don't want views and then views. So what I'm going to do to fix that is, um, yeah, maybe hinky, but it works. So we're going to, Throw that little mask on there, edge it over a little bit. And then, ta da! There it is. So we've got page path views. Views is not sortable, um, just generally in a pivot table, uh, sorting doesn't work. But you could add a filter control at the top if you wanted to give the user the ability to search for a certain page. And I, don't know, I just love this. I love seeing the like cases you know this this green heat mapping now really gives us a strong sort of 
sense of how people are scrolling down. And what I described before, if you look like, like, you know, it is pretty rare for people to scroll all the way 100% because you've got footer down at the bottom. Maybe you have a description of the author or something. So the, the Google's default 90% scroll is not great. Here, I love seeing like this, this post, like 67% of visitors are scrolling um, three quarters of the way down. So uh, love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you run into any problems, let me know. Thanks for watching.